Hey guys, today we are going to talk about influence of Renesa. In yesterday's video, we talked about flowering of Renesa and its causes. So today we can talk about the influence. The influence of Renesa on English literature is immense. What was its uh, influence, Hudson says, is does much to emancipate thought from the bondage of uh, medieval theology by restoring the generous spirit and ideals of pagan antiquity and it represented writers with literacy masterpieces which they might take as model for their own effort next uh, greatest influence was of humanism in medieval time you can uh, see the inhuman restrictions but later the ascetic ideal of middle ages was replaced by humanism and the ideal of enjoyment of life so here is clear you know difference between medieval writers what they were doing and the renaissance writers what they were writing as you can take shakespeare for example he was writing about you know individual he was writing about uh, enjoyment of life the affairs of the individual person okay so this was the difference between medieval time and the renaissance a sense of life of glory dawned and the elizabethan lived in an era when bliss was in that dawn to be alive to be young was very heaven here again we can uh, see the remark by hertzen an appetite for literature was thus fostered and an immense impetus gives given to the sense of beauty and everything that made for the enrichment of life so what were the key thing or what are the key things we can uh, you know take out from these influence individual was being important here and uh, next thing enjoyment of life sense of beauty you can see these things okay uh sense of beauty we can uh, see in the as a key point or a key factor in renesa writers work next is the conception of man as the crown of creation is the key factor in all renesa literature marlowe shakespeare spencer or all other dramatists poet and writers of this period were great humanist because their writings were are suffused with the glorification of men and human life now they are not just writing about wars and other things they were writing about human life shakespeare's hamlet exclaims what a piece of work is man so this can uh, you know figure out ye ek cheez hai ki jisse hame pata chalega ki ek individual kitna importance uh, rakhta hai in uh, renaissance mein during this era it was said glory to the man in the highest for the man is the crown of the thing we are going in depth in the study and uh, everything is getting connected okay from medieval to renesa as you can see renesa now humanism now humanism gave birth to individualism and worldliness are you getting hopefully you are getting and uh, i am uh, you know uh trying to make uh, the things clear so that you can understand the whole chapter and uh, you will understand the relation between things and the words yahan par hum kuch words ke bare mein baat kar rahe hain jaise humanism individualism and worldliness ye kis tarah se aata ja raha hai aur kis tarah se aaj ek jo ki humne dekha abhi ki shakespeare ke jo hamlet hai usme wo kehta hai ki what a piece of work is man iska matlab कि इंडिविजुअल की तरफ फोकस्ड होते जा रहे हैं इन नाउ इन एज ऑफ शेक्सपियर इन एज ऑफ रुनेसा वी आर बीइंग फोकस्ड टू इंडिविजुअलिज्म अगर इतना आपको समझ में आ जाता है तो मुझे लगता है कि आपको रुनेसा का जो एक स्प्रिट है जो बार बार क्वेश्चन पूछते हैं कि व्हाट इज रुनेसा सो रुनेसा वॉज यू नो अवेयरनेस इट वॉज अबाउट अवेयरनेस टूवर्ड्स इंडिविजुअल पर्सन इट वॉज यू नो अवेयरनेस टूवर्ड्स वर्लीनेस so here we see the hellenic view was centered on the present world rather than on some future one okay the 
द थिंग इज कि आप आप लोगों को ये समझना है कि हेलेनिक व्यू इज सिंपली इफ सम वे यू फाइंड दिस वर्ड हेलेनिक इट मींस यू नो द थिंग व्हिच इज कंसर्न टुवर्ड्स ब्यूटी सो दिस इज द की आइडिया अबाउट अबाउट रिनेसा now here you can see the renaissance men had the insatiable uh insatiable hunger for the experience that this world has to offer the plays of marlo the poetry of spencer and prose of bacon are the best expression of individualism in the shakespearean age so hopefully you are uh, you know getting my point ki agar hame renaissance ko samajhna hai to hame उसके जो की पॉइंट्स हैं अगर हम इसे एक माइंड मैप की तरह बनाने की कोशिश करें सो वी विल राइट डाउन हियर रिनेसा एंड देन वी विल राइट डाउन ह्यूमनिज्म इंडिविजुअलिज्म एंड हेलेनिक व्यू ब्यूटी ऑफ लाइफ इंजॉयमेंट ऑफ सो एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ वर्ल्ड सो यू कैन सी दीज थिंग्स in marlowe's tambolin if you don't know the um, story about tambolin and his adventures you can uh, check out in my channel okay you will get the summary of this work and here machiavelli's prince so experience they wanted to have experience okay they wanted to talk about beauty of life enjoyment of life so these are the things renesa is attacked as lacking in spirituality so we, in in next work uh, next video we will be talking about this topic lacking in spirituality in renaissance is attacked as lacking of spirituality why they call it as uh, so so thank you for watching bye bye take care see you in next video keep on making your notes